All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN highlight reel MIC style. I try to do this every single Friday night uh, for you guys to get a good highlight and just kind of review of what kind of, you know, conclusion of the week, what happened, pop culture, trading, literally everything in between. But let's dive into this, man. So if you guys at any point love what you see in this video or you're interested in MIC and kind of what we have to offer, guys, all you have to do is one of two things. Text my line at 213-458-5997 or all you have to do is go to myinvestingclub.com and book a call. All right, so November 14th, we're coming in on Monday. Let's see what Alex did. He only made about $400 this day. It's not the exact penny. I think it's like 410 or whatever, but we're going to round off. 400 bucks. We're going to see what he tackled. And then the first two, here is the watch list for the day. So the first one on deck is ENSC. So we're going to actually move this over here and make this a 20-day chart. And then we're going to scroll until, what is it? I think it was the 14th. Uh, yep, Monday is the 14th. So if you check right here, guys, you can see simultaneously, simultaneously with me, you can see the date at which I'm looking to identify in TOS. So this was Alex's chart. What he did, let's go to the watch list. Alex was saying, looking for a pop towards 240 to 260 lines, I want to scale in short. Now, the reason why he's doing that, guys, is when something breaks down and gives a lot of gains back, what you want to do is you want to hit this back at the resistance points. Anywhere from VWAP upwards of around this area where it cratered is going to be this, the quote-unquote safest and easiest short, which is exactly what Alex did. You know, we talk about this every single week, the million-dollar setup when this thing is under VWAP for a while, especially about an hour before open and it's not even close by the time it opens you want this push back to VWAP into the next resistance point which is around here in the 250 whole and half dollar I mean this this love story literally writes itself in price action the next one is ASTS Alex said on the watch list maybe a quick nail and bail short 11 1150 lines with maybe 1175 stop so if we take it to the chart ASTS on the 14th of Monday we're going to scroll back. Here it is, this day right here. So it's up the previous day before the day that he shorted. And then Alex did exactly what process entails. You cannot chase this, guys. You cannot chase this dump. Starts off with a death candle. If, 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 if this would have popped immediately after, this would have been a home run short to go after this death candle. But what are you going to do? Welcome to trading. You have to wait for a good entry point. So let this die out. And then what did it do? A long journey back up to resistance, which is all you can do. So if the initial plan didn't work where Alex wanted to scale outer lines come pre-market, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to wait for a massive second dump and you're going to have to hit it on that <laughs> little pump, you know, AKA just the pop. And then you're going to want to nail and bail, which is exactly what Alex did. 100% pure process. Let's see what the members did. So first things first, let me pull this up and kind of zoom in as much as I can. Rockmon using outer lines on DWAC, absolutely freaking beautiful. Um, Rockmon had an eight, 810 star average, so was okay getting squeezed a bit, missed the old. So I guess he was a little bit early on AMC, but still did a really good job. Um, let's see, Ian SC on Bryant, outer lines, exactly whole and a half dollar number. Perfect process, great job. Hooper X doing the exact same thing as Alex on ASTS. Uh, dude, just waiting for those outer lines after a massive dump, which is waiting for a good sniper entry. Pure process. Um, Dan Hudson waited for outer lines on PDSB. And, and by outer lines, guys, I actually mean a support that held. So an outer line can be either a resistance or a support. It's really waiting for a very good sniper entry. And Pete Davidson did it again. This guy is on an absolute, this guy, dude, this guy cannot be stopped, man. He's like Thanos collecting the infinity stones. So I'm telling you, man, Alex had a good run in 22, 2022 as Alex did this week with, I think, what, a $20,000 week. Both of these guys are just tears. If you combine these guys, it'd be unstoppable. Alex making money, Pete Davidson getting any girl in this universe that he wants. My God, your woman is not safe as long as Pete Davidson is breathing. All right, we come into Tuesday, guys, and $5,700, Alex said, going long, the hot chick today, very proud of my trades today. Hopefully, this is the start of me getting better at longs. So Alex did a really good job. It actually, believe it or not, crushing the longs. And uh, let's take a look at, or actually, I don't have a chart for this, but I do remember, I think it was DWAC, wasn't it? I can't remember the exact chart, but I remember on the 15th, um, 
Alex absolutely crushed it. Okay, it must not have been DWAC. It must have been something else. There was a hot chick of something, but uh, dude, he absolutely crushed it, and I'm proud of him for actually going long every now and then. So every now and then, guys, he forgets to post a chart or something. Don't worry about that. Um, also, we got to keep these videos as short as possible, uh, but it's just a recap. So check this out. So the members... David absolutely crushed the support on Peggy. I love. Oh, I think it was Peggy. That's what it was. Peggy, great job. Alex and David, awesome job on the long side. Something holding up. It's a hot chick. You've got to catch the meat of the move, which they did. Uh, reasonably Izzy, TBLT long. Love it. Great job on the support catch. Uh, Green Day for, for Chuck on Peggy on the inverse. So guys, while we're in a community where, you know, um, where we favor both longs and shorts, this is a community where members are waiting for a good entry based on edge. So when all the longs get out on Peggy, now it's a good opportunity for the short bias traders to have that little bit of an edge. And you know, I actually do want to pull up this chart for a second because I kind of want to showcase that, right? So this was the 15th. Alex was basically talking about the hot chick. They caught this major squeeze, but here's what happens. When something tops out and finally puts in a death candle, I gave a webinar on this this week, is guys, here's what happens. After this death, this is a really safe short. So there's money to be made on the way up. There's money to be made on the way down. And honestly, just as a, in a nutshell, there's money made everywhere. So even in chop markets, for God's sakes, if you use the channel. So welcome to trading. There's many ways to skin a cat. I gave a webinar on this as well. Hooper X did a really good job pulling back for the forest for the trees using a couple days prior to kind of see the perfect entry point on plug. Really, really good use of outer lines. Hooper X again. I want to showcase this because not every line is going to work out. And the one that it doesn't, you cut immediately. So great risk management. Massive, massive, massive shout out to one of our newest junior mods. Tony, results for October, size down, used range orders. Rules were adjusted based on the necessity of an irrational price action. Look at this guy, man. Are you kidding me? This is the teachings of MIC. We had to make this guy a mod. He's just helping people, getting it, passing the elevator back down, and that's what this community is all about, guys. Truly, that's what it's all about. But he's doing a great job, so congrats, Tony. Let's see what Alex did on Wednesday. So $9,000, basically. DWAC, sell the new setup, paid the bills today, along with BEAT, beat short into VWAP, solid trading. Let's take a look at what Alex was doing. I want to pull up beat first because uh, this is the least important compared to DWAC. So let's pull this up. Beat on the 16th, which is going to be right here. And as you can see, guys, this thing is up pre-market. It absolutely craters. What does Alex do? Exactly what I said on what he did Monday with ASTS, I think it was. Wait for a massive tank. You need to wait for the perfect pop. And the million dollar setup is when this is an hour before open, way under VWAP, where's the outer line? It's gonna be VWAP. We say this, I've been saying this for years, guys. So that's the million dollar setup right there. And boom, he whacked it. And uh, really, really good sniper entries. Followed it down because it was working after this nice stuff candle. And then awesome, awesome job on covers on red to green. Alex absolutely smoke showed this. And it's absolutely freaking beautiful. Like that's the Mona Lisa price action. But let's pull up DWAC because this was his big win and he's got some notes. So that's why I wanted to kind of harp on this one for a second. So here we are. It's absolutely getting crushed pre-market, guys. I mean, getting crushed. This thing is overextended. It's getting crushed. It's under VWAP for a while. Alex said, short sell the news, uh, short setup, which is sell the news setup when it goes red. It goes red on the day. Alex anticipates that a little bit, front runs his shorts, then slams into red, and then he covers on the dip to lock in profits, and then he reshorts because this thing is so broken. Guys, again, another Mona Lisa. This just writes itself. Like, how beautiful is that? So, really Really good job Alex let's see what the members were doing obviously utilizing the watch list as best they can just like we do every single week and making sure that you guys have a play-by-play -play, almost like live ESPN commentary I'm telling you so split letter the reason why I wanted to showcase this is I love this he used outer lines pre-market he got a little bit of FOMO during the morning but he covered he just he covered himself with a really good um scale into scaled out perfectly and paid himself on the line to line process line to line guys for shorts and covers so really good job outside of just a little bit of FOMO he did great and then next guys we have PO uh, he traded GRAB, a great freaking trade, outer use, outer lines, use case, just a, just another great trade. And, and basically just showcasing how much outer lines are, it's everything guys. It's everything. And look at our members. Look at KSAM. Are you kidding me? This is a hundred percent win ratio for the month of November so far. So just 
it's just unbelievable, man. Look at how good our members are doing. So, uh, Naughty Larry, I love that name. Waiting for the dip, shorted it, did great. Hit that pop back on DWAC, just like Alex, absolutely flawless. And then Travers on INM, while I love this, he had a really good long, did his thing where he he cuts the rest at break even, and then waited for a dip, got in long again, and pretty, pretty much did a really bang up job. I mean, that's process in a nutshell. So really clean all throughout Wednesday so far. We're coming into Thursday, and Alex has his biggest day of the week, almost 11K, 10,700 on ARDX, sized up into the death line setup on the bounce, solid entries, solid exits, great plan, and it paid off big time, attached in thread for entries. So let's go to uh, the, the watch list, and it says, pre-market death line setup, looking for a morning bounce to two, uh, to 220 to scale in short. If we pull up ARDX, then I'm actually going to pull it up on TOS. Give me a second. And I think what we're on this 17th. Yep. So this was obviously yesterday. And this thing is up pre-market, guys. It's up big. And then it craters by the open. It does its pop towards VWAP. It's way under VWAP. And Alex did exactly what I just said in all these other setups. You wait for the tank or you wait for the death candle. Wait for the pop. And the bigger the death candle, which that is, that's a pretty good death candle. Um, they just don't pop too much. So Alex had absolutely great sniper entries on that. And uh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So sized in accordingly made almost eleven thousand dollars it doesn't get much better than that guys if we look at what the members did let's take a look uh let's see david great job on ensc cutting when you're not right and you're wrong cut it immediately i love that uh eardx short doing exactly what alex was doing great freaking job um Irvin 91, really good use case of outer lines on ENSC. So while David cut immediately, you know, Irvin had sniper entries and wrote it out. And uh, again, guys, your entry, it, it just, it, it matters so much. When you have a good entry, your exits can be sloppy, but you cannot have sloppy exits when you have a sloppy entry. It's just going to make the trade so much better. So just fine tune your entries as best you can. Uh, just want to rep said Jeff Ward loving his new MIC shirt. I love this. This is a great pattern it's kind of like the scales let me see if it, how do i uh hold on one second i love this look at that that's so good province process i love that um and then holy crap man look at this i saw this and i was like oh my god justin bieber purchased this board ape nft in january and now it's 1.3 million or, or for 1.3 million now it's worth 75 g's i was like dude they should recall this board ape sheesh club that's ridiculous but the point is, guys, is if FTX isn't blowing up, if Tom Brady's not blowing up, traders on Twitter are blowing up, it's a crazy world out there, man. You got to protect yourself and not buy a boarding yacht club, apparently. Um, but last thing I want to do is harp on Justin Bieber taking it an L, but that is pretty wild. Uh, $2,200 day for today. Uh, Alex did a pretty good job on PXMD. Ideally, a big bounce towards 230, 240, 250 to scale in short. And then he highlighted the lines, and I'll just pull it up for the sake of the reference. But uh, PXMD, guys. It, it, it doesn't get much more clean than that. It, it, outer lines. W what can we say? What can we say? It opens near VWAP, so you don't hit it at VWAP and use the outer lines near resistance levels. I don't know how much easier we can make this for you guys, but we say this every single day, every single week, every single webinar, and I hope to God it's clicking with some of you guys by now. Um, let's take a look at what the members were doing today. One sec. Let me cruise in on this. Let me zoom, zoom. Uh, P.O., I lied, I'm still here. Now I'm gone. I love it. Nail and bail, outer lines, cover up. Guys, you can have a whole career playing the first hour of the day, making your money, and then dipping like a thief in the night. Literally, you're like a cat burglar in the first hour for the markets. Um, just, to show to, just to show the opposing example is Ryan Conley hitting the support, paying himself on PXMD long. Fantastic job. Rockmon, again, becoming an absolute phenom with these outer lines. I love it. Um, I had to put this on here, guys. So uh, this is Alex and his girl in Utah. Uh, the MIC bot posted that every now and then we get old highlight picks. I've got, I, I'm starting to want to put some money on this, man. Who wants to get on a wager for me? How long until you think Alex puts a ringy dingy on her little finger, dude? I'm thinking, I, I want to put some money on this. What's the over under? Are we saying, are we like two months away or are we 20 years? What do you guys got? I got like, I'm going to put a sweeping declaration out there. I'm going to say 2.5 years. There's a fat rock on that finger, but we'll see. Guys, big shout out to Scott. 
Look at look at the members, man. Look at our members. Look what they look at how consistent they're getting. Look at the money they're making. But way, way, way above money, guys. It's all about consistency. Because again, nobody respects the one random guy that makes four million dollars in a year and then the next year gives back five or three. You know what I mean? And now he's in debt. Now he's on margin. We respect the guy making everyday money every single day and that can do this the rest of his life supplement income, full on replace it. I don't think you guys realize that just an extra $200 a day, let alone $1,800 or $500 or $20,000 plus for Alex this week makes a difference in your life, guys. That's life changing money. So I think it's a really big deal when you boil down the numbers and, and, and kind of showcase this over decades and decades to come. Now let's pull up Slack real quick because that's kind of the tutorial. <laughs> this is funny pentagon hex gone octagon my money gone hopefully nobody had money in ftx if you did i'm so sorry but you're stuck with tom brady um outside of that guys i just want to showcase our slack chat room right here um every single morning we have a watch list section like i showed you i take screenshots of alex is curating the lines he's telling you what you have an edge on everything you should be paying attention to we take that to the main trading chat and then that now you're going to get the live commentary literally live guys as it's going on phil's warm Mornings, uh, bow posting funny stuff every now and then there's you know videos and stuff or joke stuff whatever it is but it's a really good time large cap and options room if you're not a small cap trader after hours channel where you can have a lot of fun just posting whatever you want from food see what the members are eating where the members are apparently tony's making so much money just getting drunk as a skunk on tito's on a friday night so let's go dude <laughs> man tony enjoy that new lifestyle bro he becomes junior mod and he just takes straight tito's to the dome i love it but you guys get the point so let me go to myinvestingclub.com real quick i'm going to show you one more thing Actually, a couple more things. You know, I always lie when I say it's one more thing. It's always like it's always like 10,000 more things. But myinvestingclub.com, guys. This is our main site, guys. The two things I wanted to show you, just a couple really quick things, is what you can do is if you have any questions about joining MIC, you can book a call. So just book this page. Just click this page. It'll go to my Google Calendar and order form. And uh, we can actually get on a call to discuss. But before you do, click this. Get a one-hour free training. Check out Alex's broker statement, $7.5 million over the last three years. See the creators. Meet the whole team. Do your forensic data analysis if you need and see if this is a good place for you. And then the call that we'll get on will just add to your confidence level on it, answer all your questions, see if MIC is a good fit for you. I have to say though, guys, you waited to the end. I'm only putting this at the end for the most dedicated people who not only showed up to watch this video, but is actually to the end. Guys, we're having a monster, a massive Black Friday promotion next week starting Monday. If you want access to that for annual and lifetime, our two option tiers at MIC, DM me. Uh, on any of our social medias, text me at 213-458-5997, text Black Friday deal, or book a call, and I'm going to get you access to that. But dude, next week, we have a monster, monster promotion. So I think you guys are going to be really excited about that. And, uh, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and Black Friday with your family. So there's that. But okay, back to it. So a couple more things. We're on the website. If I go to video libraries, what you guys are going to see of all of our content and videos. But if you scroll right here, Alex's live trades, what you're going to see is that Alex actually now records guys for lifetime members exclusively minus the first one. You can, you can see this on his Twitter guys, or if you're a member, click this, any membership tier can see the first one, the 145 K profit on BBBY, but any future videos, which there's going to be a lot more to come. These are edited live videos guys so he'll record his trading live then he edits it later with music and full-on audio commentary to explain what he did when he was in the trade so this is like one of the holy grail the new holy grails at mic and if you guys are sleeping on this you cannot be sleeping on this guys this is so important for your learning and to see what multi seven figure a year trader alex tamiz is thinking in the moment that he's actually executing so this is so freaking important guys it's so important last thing because you know we always got to do this we got to do this every single week um all right let's add up alex's week he had a monster freaking week uh 400 5700 uh what was it 8900 on wednesday sheesh 10700 this guy is like Pete davidson he can't be stopped if it's price action oh my god Guys, Alex had a $28,000 week. Who doesn't want a $28,000 a week? And if you count uh, rebates and you know commission savings and all that, guys, this is easily over $30,000. So 
this is your educator at MIC. You saw what the members are doing. You saw how much they're progressing, and it's as simple as trading an hour a day, using the watch list, using the lines, not copying, but using it as a guide. I mean, technically you can copy, but you know, we want you guys learning for your own selves and big promotion next week, guys. So hit me up if interested, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week with some ESPN highlights, pop culture, and hopefully a couple lessons. See you guys.